trying to reconnect. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're back. <laughs> oh, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome to Natik Yarns here in Elk Grove, California. And NatikeYarns.com coming to you live on a wonderful Wednesday. Woot, woot. Um, so exciting. We have so many beautiful things to talk about. I'm wearing, I think this is one of Susan's new finished projects. I was like, and I will wear that today. So beautiful and so soft and light. I need to, I want a sweater out of this. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. The We're, solids would be perfect for that. Mm-hmm. So exciting. You guys know we are going to have two booths at Stitches. So a 10 by 20. We've been working hard. We're planning what it looks like. Merchandise is coming in already. Things have shipped from China. And I wanted to show you guys, um, I just finished one of the hats. I'm so excited to uh, show you guys. Here is the hat. And I did hit it with a blow dryer. Is that just <gasps> fluffy I'm in amazingness? Love with this hat. It's fluffy amazingness. This hat took a lot of work to make it design so that it looks like there's not um, ribbing on here. And Juan did correct me. It's called a half Milano. What and did you say yesterday? Milan. Oh, Milano. Um, but look at the fun little details at the top. So there's four decreases instead of your normal swirl. So it's almost like a square look. I did um, just soak it real quickly and I hit it with a blow dryer. So I want to show you guys the haze that comes up. This is what's so luxurious about um, Angora. It's so fuzzy. These are French Angoras that have special caretakers. They are brushed every 90 to 100 days to get Man, I brushed my Angora way too often. Yeah, that's what they said, 90 to 100 days. And they live on small farms. Of course, I had a neurotic one that wasn't raised properly from a baby, so he didn't like being handled. Oh, yeah, that's a problem. So, so it made him see. a little more complicated. So you guys can see. But they are, when they're raised properly, it's hilarious. They're so chill. Like, people spin with them in their lap. They're like, okay. okay. Look how cute this is. So slightly slouchy. You don't have to do a slouch if you don't want to. I actually really like a slouchy hat because when it's colder, you can fold it up into a brim. Hey, now. It's done. Isn't it so cute? I love it. I'm so excited. I started uh, the gray one last night just to get more done. So this is one of the things that we are going to be showcasing at Stitches. Remember, all you guys are going to get a first dibs on Stitches before we actually get to Stitches. So... <clears throat> the uh, probably the week before every day we're going to release something that you guys can get before it all goes to stitches but so pretty and uh, the kit's going to come with the yarn for luxurious skeins if you buy multiples I, you'll be able to blend your leftovers to get another one possibly and then on the back of the tag tells you how to take care of it um, so if you're gifting it to someone, they know what to do. I'm just so excited. I love it. I'm so happy. Thank you, Pam. Pam and I talked incessantly about this damn hat. But I love it. It turned out so good. So now we only have um, 14 to make. All right, we're going to talk about our grand prize. I feel like now that the kinks are done, the rest are going to be easy. Like it's a one, it's a one-nighter, two-nighter. It's kind of fast because it's just eight rows of this ribbing, knit two more skeins, and then start your decreasing. So it actually does go really quickly, but I think that it's a, um, a hat that is a timeless classic, and that's what I think will be really nice about um, for yourself or for gifts, or we have people who want to 
um, buy them as a kit for one of their knitter friends, but it's going to be a complete kit. It's going to come with the pattern, the yarn, and the leather tags. So we're excited to uh, showcase them. We're waiting on the packaging. All right, so let's move on to our semi-monthly grand prize. We have two wonderful skeins of Fair Cotton Mariner, which is a lovely 100% self-striping yarn. I'll let you talk about the colors. It is this beautiful, like all the colors of Mariner are this beautiful white cotton background with these stripes of fun colors. We've got vermilion pink red in this one some rose pink, some kind of patina gold. Like it's got a little bit of that greenish tint to it. And these skeins are an amazing 678 yards. So you have more than enough to make the Twaldolin pattern. This is what I was thinking for the baby blanket that you were talking about. Oh, I like that better. I was thinking of the Mian one. No, cause this one looks this like is it's more fun. diamonds. Anna wants to, is feeling called to knit a um, baby blanket. And I was like, do it on the machine. Yeah. Thank you, Helen. I did them myself. Because I feel like this These is. These are my new nails. I feel like this, this is simple enough. Is this a gorgeous one? Look at all the flakes that are in this. This it's has like, been my new thing, you guys. I'm teaching myself how to do my own nails. So thank you, Helen. I love the jumbo glitter in. Oh, like, yeah. This one, the, your, your ring finger, I can yeah. really see it. Well, this one is all red. This is pink with this one added to it. And then these are all separate. I'm loving it. Are they practical to have long nails? No, I'm going to say it drives me crazy. I can't change out my necklace. So I'll be wearing this necklace until the future. It is <laughs> You'll just horrible. have to bring which one you want to switch it to and we'll switch it out. But I'm going to say it is fun. I have a date with my girlfriend and we dip and sip. So we're enjoying some drinks and dinner and then we do our nails. So it's kind of a date night. So far it's not saving any money, but eventually it will. I'm halfway it will there. Come, it will come out eventually. Of course. So uh, this is a pattern Anna and I were kind of talking about for a baby blanket. But, and for those of you who are machine knitters, uh, you could do this on the machine pretty quickly. It's a very fun one, but we've had so many people hand knit it. Um, there's a store in South Lake Tahoe. She's out of all the stores. She sold the most of our pattern. I feel I'm sure that's where the sample went. Yeah, I think so. I know Jilda had it, but she may, she's very yeah. generous with her samples. Yeah. So she probably handed it over. So this is a really beautiful convertible wrap. Um, originally we did it all out of linen and we will have more coming in this new season. But I think the Fair Cotton Mariner will be beautiful. A little bit different because you're getting some self-striping with a beautiful texture. So I think it's going to change what it looks like. Melanie, this would be great for where you live. Anywhere, anyone who's living where it's a little bit hot, this is great just to have a little bit of cover over, let's just say, a tank top, a sundress, if you want to cover your arms, but not actually uh, be warm. So one lucky winner is going to get this um, prize. It's valued at $95. The drawing is live on um, February 17th. In the meantime, we have the yarn and the pattern available if you want to start your own. All right. I'm excited to get more of those hats because now that the kinks are worked out. And yeah, now it'll be fast. So nice. All right. Our daily prize is a really fun little project that I use my leftover cumulus for. This is a worsted weight mitered washcloth. And here's the thing, you can just tie your cotton in yarn in knots if you wanted to, or weave it in the ends. We did it originally out of a cumulus dappled, um, but lots of you are knitting with cumulus. <clears throat> And this is a perfect idea of what you can do with the leftovers. It makes about a 10 and a half inch square. We, hold on. 
we keep getting like a green screen. What is that? Some sort of signal corruption. I don't know. I'm wondering. I know See, there, you think again. like sometimes I say this jokingly, but I'm wondering if there actually are solar flares because there was just a thing where like the sun just dumped like a huge amount of plasma into the universe hmm. the, and had it been aimed the wrong direction it was enough that it would have taken out the planet hmm. so i feel like the sun may be interfering All with right. things uh is our sound off i don't think so can you guys hear me can everyone hear me hello hello i know lots of people have been responding okay it's the balloon <laughs> The one that's trying to sell you a car warranty. Have you seen that ad? No. They took the picture of the spy balloon and put text over it that says, we've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Thank you, you guys. So this is a really fun, fast project. I like to have these washcloths already knit up, and then I pair it with a bar of handmade soap that I may have gotten at the farmer's market or something like that. I used to, when I was like on a budget and couldn't afford handmade soap, I used to get the Yardley soap Ooh, mm -hmm. um, because you can actually usually get it at like the bargain type stores. And then I could make somebody like a washcloth and include the soap and not have it break the bank because I was a starving college student and living off of, you know, mac and cheese and ramen. For those of you who are having some issues, Bev, I don't know if you can hear me, try signing out and going, coming back in. That should work. That's normally the issue with the patterns. Thank you, thank you. Technology is amazing 95% of the time. That's what I'm gonna give it. Yes. All right, so this is gonna make one fun washcloth knit on a size eight needle. Do you wanna show them some of the cumulus rainbows? Cause it would be beautiful out of that. All right, let me go a little bit slowly so that nothing is too crazy. There's, I mean, cumulus rainbow, dappled there's so many pretty colors that you could use for this you can get a couple washcloths per skein i love this one so many pretty colors um i like that the new orange one this one um or the ki almost rainbowy one? Yes. Yeah, that one's my favorite. Oh. For obvious Lisa reasons. Says she makes two joins, joins them on three sides. Oh, and then you and can a scrub it up. Yeah, then you I stick the soap that. in like a pocket. Yeah, well, can you just Well, I guess you could sew it up, but basically, Eileen's saying she's taking two. Hold on, let's make it a square. Eileen, that's genius. All right, we're we're, ma we're making origami. we're making miters. Oh my gosh, I used to love origami when I was a kid. I don't even know if kids do that nowadays, but that was so. I fun. don't know. I mean, some must, but I feel like probably less. I remember my mom used to do it for Christmas with money. Instead of just giving mm -hmm. you money, she'd fold it into all sorts of cute things. All right, so here's your two, and then you'd seam it, seam it, seam it, so your hand could still go in the inside. Yeah. There you go. Oh, Melanie loves origami. Yeah, me too. So fun. I can't wait till Everly's older and I can do some things like that with her. All right, so how you get entered into the drawing every time you react to the video. We've been seeing lots of comments coming through, uh, lots of reactions. You're gonna get one entry for every reaction. For every um, <clears throat> comment, you're going to get five entries for every comment. And look, it's fixed. If you want to share now, easy to do. Share to your stories. You just have to pop right back in and write share to my friends. Share to my stories. 
and you're gonna get 11 entries for every share. And we love, love, love seeing all the shares um, when I go onto Facebook. So let's see who's gonna be the lucky winner of this prize. Here you go. Do, 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 do. Oh, Sandy Yee. That's nice. Sandy Yee. That, that's perfect because her comment was even love fast knits, which this yeah. totally is. So, Sandy, you are local. You get the easy task of stopping by the boutique anytime Tuesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. and saying, can I pick up my prize? Um, if you're not local, the next time you place an order, just um, put in the notes section that you have a prize and we will ship it out with your order. Nice and easy. Which, you know, everybody who is UPS is off on their way today because the UPS man came right before video already this morning. That's right. It's trekking along. Now we're just wondering where the handy dandy mailman is. Tyler was, he's prompt. He probably he's getting to. earlier and earlier. He's like, I want to get done early, so I'm right. Starting earlier, and uh, he knows that he can just come and knock on the door. And yeah, open it. He so. knows we're here. All right, I'm really excited to talk about this next two yarns. Um, they are beautifully soft, luxurious, not expensive, and I am wearing one of them right now. This is called the Cowl of many colors. So let me show you guys this one. This is Susan Knit This. It's lightweight and warm. Very, very soft. And I cannot wait to talk about this. This is the Concept uh, Kashmina. A generous 317 yards. It's 68% virgin wool, which means the first shearing of the sheep, 22% polyamide, and then what really sweetens the deal is 10% cashmere. So you can see the polyamide is the lighter strand in the fabric in this one. This one, it's the darker, and the wool and the cashmere are spun with it. This only takes one skein to do this one. And I just think it's such a nice little start. It's the start of a shawl and then you end up putting it together. So you're doing all this work and then you get down here and then you start knitting it in the round. Nothing's hard about this one. You guys can see easy sections of stockinette followed by some garter and yarn over two together. That is it. But the drape on here is amazing. I mean, look at, it's great for travel. Folds up really small and very, very light. So let's show you it's so pretty. some of the color options in this. And then Susan's got more patterns that she's gonna be showing us. So again, this is the Kashmina. Why it's so soft is it's 16 and a half micron merino wool paired with cashmere and then the little bit of polyamide it's twisted on. This is a really good uh, idea of what you're gonna get in this one. Oh, mini colors, not many colors. Do you wanna talk about the colors, Anna? Um, yes, this is color 301, which is kind of like a fawn to a chocolate to like a coffee into burgundy and then cranberry and almost crimson in the middle. Uh, here's the pattern, cowl of many colors. You can do it. We just did it with one skein. So when you're getting close to the end, you just finish it off, right? So you could have one or two or three skeins if you want a full size one. I like them a little bit smaller because I wanna be able to bring them forward like a cowl. But I also think, depending on what you're wearing, I may need help rearranging, thank you. You can wear it on, um, if you're out and about, you could wear it something like this, super cute. 
uh, with a little dress or a fun top, but very, very nice. Uh, it's knit on um, just a really nice even needle. Here's what it looks like. They used obviously mini skeins, but save yourself some time and just use one that has all the colors in it already. For those of you who like a really neutral color palette, very soft, this is color 300. Uh, with this super generous yardage of 317 yards, it is under $35 for the skein. This one's a pretty taupe to like a fawn to that kind of patina gold with that little bit of an olive -y tint to it. And, and then it, the brighter gold in the middle. It is a DK weight. It just doesn't look like that because it's so soft. Hold on, here is a real fun top. This peplum oh, that's cute. is really popular. So this is a really nice alternative for people who do not, uh, they aren't fans of mohair. Okay, I think this is cute, but I really like it with the short sleeves. Look at how cute is that? That's really cute. So she did hers a little bit more fitted and then you have the ruffle. Here's another one, so cute on. I like the increased shaping detail too, that it's like little yarn overs, mm -hmm. so it adds a little detail to the round yoke. The only thing, this is me, the only thing that I would change is this. It looks like an I-cord. Yeah, but you can see here, it's Flippy McNicky. It, it's almost like a it, I-cord Latvin. Yeah, brain. it's like a I-cord bind off done like extra loose maybe. So you could do that, but it's a little flippy for me. It wouldn't work, but that's the nice thing you get to choose. You could just do a little bit of garter mm -hmm. on the ruffle. Really pretty. All right, another gorgeous colorway is 303. Which this one has a pretty silver to like a pewter gray t that starts to then get a little bit minty as it shifts into this like seafoam green in the middle. Good morning, Lisa. Melanie Wright, that is fun. I think it's so pretty. Now here is a really fun um, small shawlette that would be beautiful. This is three different colors. Look at how they got really uh, creative with their styling. But this would be beautiful in that yarn. That's a fun texture. I can see Karen knitting that. Mm-hmm. I mean, Karen, man, she's whipping out stuff. So yeah, one, I feel like, ooh. Is it, oh no, I think it's only in Norwegian. Oh, okay, I don't see Karen knitting that. But then. that sure is pretty. I mean, we could figure that out. That we might be one, one that would be ones. easy enough to translate. Yeah. All right. And last but not least, in the variegated, um, sorry, the gradient self-striping 302. My mom would have loved that color. I love that. She was very peachy. Yeah, it has like that peach and then it gets a little more rust into that soft orange. And then somehow that orange magically blends without making anything eh, into this beautiful sage green. That's an impressive color blend because mm -hmm. green and orange don't usually blend that beautifully. Carolyn, I'm excited. I'm gonna see you soon in class. All right, um, there was one other one. This is a nice little one, little capelet. Oh, it's basically like a raglan that you kept going mm -hmm. and forgot to divide for sleeves. Yeah, <laughs> and then at a certain point you stop increasing. That's cute. But that's a pretty little detail though on the raglan. I know, I'm like, what is it? I'm trying to. 
I don't know if we can get close enough. Here we go. It almost looks like that woven stitch, you know, where you like SK2P, mm -hmm. you like. There's a lot of. There's uh, a lot of intricate in like three stitches mm -hmm. in there. Very That's pretty. cute. It's like a braid. That's a lot better than the project I did where you did that the entire project because that, no, no, that was not fun. Too much work. Too much work. I could handle it for three stitches. It was like a hundred stitches. All I had right, regrets. So that is the slow ombre self-striping of Concept by Katya Kajmina. Beautiful and so soft. Mm-hmm. So the next one actually totally coordinates with this yarn, which is a solid of this, um, this base. I'm in love with it. I definitely have a sweater planned to knit out of this one. Um, and there's, a, it's a little bit different fiber content. This is the Cash Silk Light by Lane du Nord. It is made in Italy and it is 70% merino wool with a 16 micron count, 10% cashmere, 20% silk. So here's the difference. The core, the core on this one is is polyamide and this one is silk. You can still use them together and it's going to open up many options that you can do. And there are so many colors. Um, I feel like a throw for your blanket, like a summer throw, this would mm. be beautiful. There is 131 yards per skein and it is just a beautiful um, sport weight yarn. Which this gorgeous color is 3020, which is like a sage green. I love the highlight of the silk core. Like it adds that depth to the color mm -hmm. that makes it two-tone, even though it's only dyed in one color. Yeah. And there is a full range. I don't even know where to start on this. I'll just do this one. I'll let you kind of. Like pick whatever calls uh -huh. to me. Yeah. Okay, then we have color 3021, which is this be 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 <laughs> beautiful rust. Turn around and show who's our guest at the door. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Sandy. <laughs> She's eating breakfast. Which this rust and the sage are really pretty together. This, oh, this is, we need to get this to Karen. I'm surprised she hasn't knit that this one yet. This is the hottest pattern right now, the Sophie scarf. If you guys have not seen it, one skein does it. Let me show you more of the Sophie scarves. It's so popular. It's by Petite Knit. It's just this little quick cowl. So cute. Mmm. I'm gonna write that down. Maybe Karen will. I'm surprised she place. hasn't done one yet. Because it's to be her, fair. Yes. Because it's totally her her satisfaction of knitting, like quick and simple. Mm-hmm. That'd be if we needed it. That's a fun stitches project for one skein. Color thirty ten is this gorgeous like brick red. I feel like I'm building a nice little palette here. Mm-hmm. Then we've got color 3000, which is that like ochre gold that has that slight olivey tint to it. But I'm like these four in something. I don't know what, but in something would be amazing. Look, it's so new. There's nothing. The other one. Oh, the, the ombre one? A blanket? Just like mm -hmm. an ombre blanket would be beautiful. You could do like a lightweight version of a skew. Mm-hmm. Or now, bounce. Here is 
um, be woolen Saturday. Sh I don't know why they call it a shrug. It's a cowl. I guess you could pull it over here. Oh no, it's big. Look how cute that is. Maybe because you shrug your shoulders, like shrug. Oh, she did pair it with something. I would just do it with a uh, double stranded of two colors. Like this could be one of the stripe. How could we pair that? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like color 22, which you is more it. peachy. Two of these together, and then the other one would be another two. So you double strand this paired with. That would be pretty. Mm-hmm the red and the fawn color 3001 it would make it a little less large too and it would make like more subtle striping because you're blending these two colors and then you're blending these two colors so it's not quite the bold of like red and orange mm -hmm. it's toned down oh somebody Sh charlotte just said she's making the saturday shrug oh nice We do have this beautiful, let me try it on for you guys. This was, I couldn't decide which one to wear, but my gosh, this is gorgeous. Uh, I think you should do this in your machine knitting class. They could whip out a project. Oh yeah, they could whip out a... Yeah, in one day. Maybe that's what we'll do after the sweater because we're about to start the sweater. Nice, look at this. You could hand knit this too, but this is just a knit back and forth stockinette and then they gathered the edge and did the tassels. So what I always like to do is cut the tassels first, the yarn for the tassels, and then knit your beautiful um, stockinette wrap. This is single stranded. You can see how light and transparent it is. Two skeins knit on a size six needle. It'd be fun to gather it and do the, um bow for palms on the ends mm, instead mm -hmm. of tassels too. Isn't that beautiful? Or do an ombre and then have the tassel be something like this. This would be beautiful. Look, cause that has the green in the middle. You mm -hmm. could do like mix the two for your tassels. Yep. That'd be really pretty. Hmm. Shiny, down. shiny squirrel. No, it's just like, project. what else for stitches, right? Because this would be something that would be super easy. That's what I should do. Get my machine class to knit a bunch of these for stitches. Like, you guys, we're going to postpone the sweater. we got to make scarves. <laughs> yes, they could do, yeah. I just think nice uh, option for fast projects and it's so light and luxurious you guys can see you would tuck your jacket around here so that your neck's really warm but it's not heavy all right we have so many more colors to show you this yarn came in such a wonderful color palette mm -hmm. way more than we thought color 50 is this beautiful charcoal gray oh Sandy, our get our little guest from the window, is now sitting in their car out front oh, watching. Oh, new car is here? Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, boss lady's going to go peek, so let me show you guys some more colors. Oh, I'm excited for her. There's a beautiful kind of like eggplant, color 11. It's like if purple were charcoal. It, like you can see if I show the charcoal next yes. to it. It's definitely purpley, but without the charcoal next to it, you're like, maybe that's just gray. Mm -hmm. It's a sneaky color. I like it. I really like this next one. I bet Boss Lady does too. Oh, yeah. Color 51 is like rhubarb. It's a little more purpley than beet, almost magenta. This is another one. Three colors of this would make this gorgeous prime meridian cowl that's cute it's got a little fun detail here i like that because mm -hmm. that would keep me from the i'm so sick of garter stitch yeah i'm bored i'm still thinking selfie though i love selfie i don't know why i haven't knit one either i know oh everyone's, well i do everyone's been knitting them um but yeah we got to do that 
I'm like, I do know. Where has all my spare time gone? That's... We're working. <laughs> We're getting ready. Stitches. It's gone to stitches. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. They're so is. pretty. Like, even though these aren't even necessarily in color order, that's just a beautiful array. And yet oh, there's more. I know. This I... Cargill cowl would be beautiful with two skeins. Oh, that's cute. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I have now, an ombre I feel like idea. they dropped down for their ribbing, or this person did. That person definitely did. Um, you could knit it the same. I don't necessarily, I wouldn't necessarily want it, but I love this. They use two different colors. So beautiful. I was thinking you could, like, do kind of like how we did making circles in the sky with two mm -hmm. colors. and I almost wore that today. Because that would be beautiful. Right. It would be perfect for mm -hmm. this. But you could start with like two strands of color 41. And then you would switch a third of the way through to a strand of 41 and 42, which is the mint. And then you would do two strands of mint. So you'd get this ombre from the muted teal to the mint, which would be really pretty. Mm -hmm. For all of our sweater patterns, this is a free pattern on Ravelry from Espace Tricot, which beautiful, really well-rounded patterns. She blended two, but either of these yarns on their own is the DK weight that you need. Very wearable. Look at this. Uh, you've got the split hem, the high-low, Lots of easy stockinette. You don't want that high of a neck? Don't do it. Just uh, let me show you guys. You could basically, because you're going to do that later normally, is just stop at like an inch and bind off. That's what I do because I don't do turtlenecks. Lots of people have made this. 11,041, but look at how cute these are. I wanted to find someone who didn't do the neckline. Oh, here's one. Oh no, she folded it over. She was sneaky. Look I at mean, all these people actually cold. following the pattern. Oh, here's one. There, there we go. go. There's a short one. That's what I do. You know what she did though? She folded it over. And I don't fold it over. I just do no, an inch I and just bind do an off. Inch, bind off loosely. <gasps> Look at this beautiful pink one. This would be perfect. I mean, that's a very is she's like naturally beautiful look how cute she is and you can tell she loves her pretty pink sweater mm -hmm. oh it does start at the top so you would just make it be less yes yeah, so you just only do an inch Pass then on do an inch okay here is the rest of the palette i mean like i said so many beautiful colors there's this beautiful like soft denim blue gray color 52. Then kind of a slightly taupe gray, like it's a warm gray color 31. There's so many other ones. Right? Like we want to go down the rabbit hole. Mm -hmm. Color 12, which is like a fawn. And then, uh, last but not least, color two, which is that slightly taupe, kind of like white gold kind of color. It's got a little bit of that warmth, but nice and light. I love all these people that are knitting right now. So, Lynn, what did you knit for your daughter for Christmas? And then Roxanne said she's doing Sophie. She's knit it before. Now it's out of Rio's. Nice. Um, yeah, that just feels like one of those scarves perfect for when you're like, I love this yarn and I want it, but I don't want to just have it end up in my stash. Like, mm -hmm. fun skein projects. This is what we were talking about before. There's a bunch of patterns. Um, making circles in the sky. Here, originally I did it out of a lace weight um, alpaca blend. Here's Melanie did it out of uh, mohair, which it's just as beautiful. Look at all these. Out of mohair. 
That so one was mohair you can silk. Do op whatever you want to do. This is a, I believe, an eight row repeat. You've got yarn over knit two togethers and SSK yarn over and then a four stitch twist. Very beautiful. I mean, it would be amazing out of the ombre cashmina or just do it out of holding two strands together, double and ombre it out or do it the same. I just think it's beautiful. That is one of our patterns available in our Ravelry um, store. Okay, this is pretty. That's cute. It's interesting. Her background is fluffy, it looks like, and the color work is not. Oh, it's funny. It's all the same. Huh. It looks fuzzy, though. It does. Maybe that's one of those yarns that fluffs, fluffs up when you wash it. Um, we've been talking about doing color work with something like this or an Angora with uh, Melanie we used put a post a picture on the collective. She's got a sweater she knit when she lived in Europe and um, it's Angora with regular wool. It's absolutely beautiful. It gives a really nice look to it. Uh, the Douglas Cardi, I know tons of people have done this one. Uh, this would be a beautiful yarn to use. You could do your colors a little bit more subtle if you choose. You, like to me, something in this Palette. Like this one looks subtle. She looks, did she do two? Two or three. But like this, can you imagine something out of this blend right here? And if you needed five, just pull that together. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, this is another one, another free pattern. That's cute. You could make it longer, easy fix, right? Because look at this gal's like, no, I need it to cover more of the bits. Yep, that's the thing. If you don't like cropped, just keep going. Keep on going. Here's another, I really like it in the thinner. I mean, fabric. I think you and I both at this point, we don't even pay attention to what length it says no. to knit the body or the sleeves. We know what we like. You can see the gorgeous halo that you would get from a slightly fuzzy and uh, Angora, Alpaca, Cashmere. It's gonna give you that beautiful fluff without, um, if you're sensitive to fibers that a mohair would. This is a free pattern available on Ravelry. Nice. Along with Anna. <laughs> I love that it's a free one though. That's super nice to do. French designer. Oh, she must have her own line. But she's got some cute, nice. cute things. Uh, let's see, here's another one. And just, there's so many different options that you can do. But we'll do one more quick overview of the yarns we are showcasing today. So in this lineup right here, we have here. the gorgeous Kashmina by the Concept Collection. It is a bigger skein, slowly flows from one to the other. Uh, I really think that this would be gorgeous in um, making circles in the sky oh, that'd be beautiful you could pair one and one or you just use that one on like a size seven needle or we've got the beautiful semi-solids because of the silk it changes the color a little bit cash silk light karen do you want to knit a sophie I feel like she might have said something at some point about she would do that. I feel like it she's looks like on. A really fast knit too. Um, let's see. We've got a few minutes to talk about what classes we've got going on. We've had a lot of signups for the clap of tea. I'm so excited to do this multi-session um, class with you. Each class is only one hour from 11 to noon. Remember, if you're a working woman or you can't make the time. 
you will get a copy of the class emailed to you so you can watch it later at your leisure. This is the One Skein Clapity this Friday, February 10th, 17th, and 24th from 11 to noon. We're using about 550 yards of a DK weight yarn. You can use just about anything. If you've got stash that you wanna use, however, you want no halo on it. No fuzz, nothing like that, because you will be dropping stitches. And when it's sticky nicky, it is no fun to unravel those. So no, do not use the cash mm -hmm. silk light from today do for clap mm -hmm. The Art Yarns Marled Cowl, we will be teaching that on February 14th from 11 to noon. That is a two hour class. Using two skeins of, we are using the brand new Silky Twist. And for those of you who have signed up for the class, we did email a copy of the pattern to you directly. On February 18th, we have the Marled Sweater class. Um, still working on it. Now that I finished a hat, I can do uh, work on the other band. But that is gonna be multi-sessions. It is the top down, mine is beet pink with beautiful orange. I've got two other peeps knitting my same color. I'm so excited because we need a picture. We'll like put the picture. We'll have to together. do that thing where you do like with you guys take your picture with your iPhone because then mm -hmm. there's an easy way that it's like you literally just hold down and copy and paste just the person out of yeah. the picture. It's awesome. It's, that's what Iris is doing on those. It's super cute. All right, so we've got that. Then on Tuesday, February 21st, we have the Bias Mosaic Shawl class using Cumulus. You could do it out of Rios. I really believe Cumulus Rainbow in the background Sol highly solid uh, contrast on top would be amazing for that one. That is just a one hour class. I'm teaching you how to start it and how to do the mosaic. And then it's all on your own from that. Very simple, fun, knit on a size nine needle. Easy. And uh, the homework, cast on three stitches. Done. And last but not least, we've got February 28th, my favorite. I'm so excited about this one. Fringe at the End uh, Shawl Class. It is a two hour class. We're gonna be teaching you all the intricacies of this. And as we get on, by the end of the class, I will show you how to drop the fringe. So it is a self fringing shawl. Super, super cute. And it looks like it's not connected that it's connected, it's not. It, it is actually a shawl and not a cowl. It's just how it's draped on the mannequin. Mm -hmm. So we are talking about what we are wearing. I have switched because I like, oh, I like wardrobe changes. Here's the first one. This is cowl of mini colors. Like miniature, not mm -hmm. multiple. That's right. And that was made with one skein of cashmina. And then I'm also wearing a aptly named scarf with tassels. That is just a real uh, thoughtful. The name. yarn brands are real creative with the names sometimes. Adorable, right? We're like, can Our we please best. help you? So this is a single strand, super easy stockinette with beautiful tassels. Like we we're saying, you could do it all out of uh, two skeins of cash silk, or you could use cashmina and then have your tassels be something like this. It'd make it a little bit longer, but very beautiful. And it's, you guys, so crazy soft. That's what I love about it. Very, very easy. All right, Anna is wearing an oldie but a goodie. I love this sweater. Mm -hmm. This is a Hinter, Hinterstein. Yes, Walk the Cumbria. Scooch back, would you? There you go. So definitely a longer sweater. Turn to the right. My right or your right? It doesn't matter. I want to show the pockets. You guys see the details right there? This is garter stitch down here. You basically knit the pocket separate and then it tells you when to join it in. So then you just have a little bit of adding on on the back in stocking it. Mm -hmm. And then this fun little, I don't know what to call this detail where it has like the little corner. Tab. And a buttonhole. 
you cannot do a buttonhole if you don't want to button it very easy. You kind of want that button, though. Yeah. I mean, unless you wanted to, like, use a shawl pin or something. Mm -hmm. like it. You want to turn around, show them the back, beautiful V-neck. Look at this detail. Do you guys see the V, which further brings your eye? This is how amazing her designs are. V makes you look smaller, and then you can see the increases and decreases. I love the construction on her stuff, too. It's always really interesting. Like this one, you do this panel at the top first, and then come over and add this, and then join it for the body and keep going. That's how um, her red that I'm doing right now, too, well, it's in timeout for Stitches Project, but when I go back to it, that's how red is constructed. Mm -hmm. With that flattering little V in the back and everything. It's, I love her patterns. It would be beautiful out of this yarn, yeah. double-stranded. I mean, look, that's mm -hmm. basically the color I did. But it'd be so lightweight. Yep, beautiful. And soft and warm and amazing. Excuse me while I go knit another one. All right, I think that is going to be it for today. I think so, too. Yeah. So, everyone soon, I will be back at 3 o'clock with Knit, Sip, and Hook with Boss Lady. I would love to see you. I'm going to be knitting on my stitches project. Um, but we're really excited to have you join us, and we just want to say thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch us either live or on um replay i think that's what it's called replay remember even if you're on replay comment do your likes all that still is um put into our drawing um and we'll see you soon have an amazing day bye-bye